Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Langchain to work with a local large language model or LLM. So let's get started. If you're in this video, you've probably used something like ChatGPT. I mean, who hasn't at this point, right? But what are the alternative to ChatGPT, right? There are some commercial options, uh, but there are also local options, open source options. And these options give you a lot of flexibility. They might be slow and difficult to set up, but you get some unique benefits from a local LLM, right? For example, some of the models that you can use, they're not restrictive like ChatGPT is. So there are there is a value proposition for a local LLM. And in this video, we're going to use Langchain with a local LLM, right? A local large language machine learning model. If you want to learn more about local LLM, uh, this subreddit called Local Lama is really useful and helpful. It has a lot of uh, discussions about local LLM uh, and Langchain. You know, you've probably heard about Langchain. Langchain according to the website, is a framework for developing applications powered by language models like GPT, right? It has a bunch of features, but the feature that I'm interested in showing in this video is you can use Langchain with a local language model. So I have a, a list of steps that you can follow uh, if you want to do this yourself. Uh, but I have a list of, you know, how to get this set up. Right, we'll start by going to this Langchain doc, which I already have open uh, here. And the next step is to clone this GitHub repo where I have the uh, steps uh, as well as the, the Python file that is required for this lesson, right? So I'm gonna copy this. So I'm gonna go to my shell and paste this command, which will clone the Langchain notes repo into my machine. And I'm gonna open this repo in an IDE. I'm gonna use uh, VS code. So now I have the repo loaded in an IDE. I'll start running the commands from right here. And for now, let's open this uh, local Llama Langchain folder and open this Python file just so that we can look at it. The next step is to go inside the lesson folder, which is the Git repo, and we're already here. So I'm gonna move to step number three. And step number three is important. It's uh, install requirement packages. The first package that I'll need to install is Langchain. Now, if you don't have this installed, you can just do pip install Langchain. Next, we need to install another package called Llama CPP Python. Um, and you have two options with this uh, step, right? You can either use this command to use CPU-based inference, or you can use the following command to install the Llama CPP um, for GPU inference. Now, I am on a Apple Silicon Mac, so I have an M2 Mac. Um, so I'm going to use this command. If you have a machine that does not have a GPU, um, or if you'd like to run CPU-based inference, you can use the command right here. Once again, I'm gonna use this command. Step number four is the big one, right? You need to download a local Llama or a compatible model that you can work with, right? And the best place I've found so far to download models really easily is this website called gpt4all.io. I'm gonna to go to this site. You navigate to a section called Model Explorer and under the dropdown, you see a bunch of options. The top one is the best model um, according to the scores and the benchmarks. So I'm gonna pick the top model, which is the um, news Hermes 13b.ggml and click on download. This is going to take a while. 
Now, once you have the model file downloaded, the next step is to go to the llama underscore langchain.py file and wherever you've downloaded the model, add the path to the file in the Python file, right? So once I've found the path of the model file, which I've downloaded, so make sure you do this. And there's a variable called model path, which is empty. I just put the path of the model file, which is downloaded in my local machine. Now let's move on to the next step. Now we're ready to run our Python application based on Langchain in the next step, right? So the next step is basically going to be to run the llama underscore langchain.py file. Um, but before we run, why don't we take a look at what's happening? And the code for this file I've basically got from this Langchain documentation. So going back to the Python file, we have a bunch of imports that is required for calling all of these uh, Langchain based actions and classes. We've uh, set the path of our model and then we create a question and answer template and we use a prompt template a class within Langchain to create our prompt. And callback manager is for token streaming. You know, uh, if you want to get the results in stream mode instead of waiting a while and getting the answer at once, you know, we need to use this. Uh, and then we just, uh, I just le left this as uh, uh, default uh, from the documentation. Uh, so th I didn't make any changes here. Uh, the next step is we define the LLM that we'll use, right? Now, Langchain supports OpenAI, obviously, and a bunch of other um, uh, models. But in our case, we are using the Llama CPP. So we use Llama CPP to initialize our model path, um, GPU layer, you know, the things right here, and uh, a few other things. But, you know, I just copied this from the documentation. Uh, next, we set up the chain um, by specifying the prompt and the LLM that we set up over here. And we'll ask our question, right? In this case, I want the LLM to tell me a random joke, right? So let's see if this local LLM can tell us a random joke. And finally, we will print the output uh, after everything is run, right? So this is it um, in terms of the Python file. So let's go ahead and run this file. So the next step is going to be to navigate into the local llama langchain folder, which has the Python file. So really quick, local llama langchain, and then we can run the Python file. So Python llama langchain.py, and something is loading up. So this is going to take a bit um, because you know this is not going to be as fast as ChatGPT. And one tip I can give you when running these uh, local models is close as many uh, programs as you can. You know, whatever programs uh, is using a lot of resources, a lot of RAM, just close them and, you know, the inference will be faster. So I did close a bunch of applications that I had running, uh, especially my Firefox browser that seems to take a lot of memory. And I, I got a response fairly quickly. And you can see the, the output is right here. The format is not so great. You can see the, the joke is right here. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything, right? Um, and once again, here, here's that again. But yeah, we did get response from the local language model. Let me try this again with a different prompt this time. Tell me a short story. And as you can see, the speed is uh, really nice this time. 
and it's starting to tell me a story, right? But if you look at the code again, we're not using OpenAI, we're not using ChatGPT. You know, this is being generated from the local model that I have in my machine, in my laptop, right? So the model's performance may not be as good as ChatGPT, but using a open source model, you do get a lot of benefits, right? You can uh, get unrestricted uh, output in some cases. Some cases you can fine tune them easily. Uh, and you know, if you have a GPU already, you can also run these models for free, right? Uh, maybe not for free because electricity and other costs, but you know what I mean, right? Um, so this is basically it, right? The goal of this video was to show you that you can use a local large language model or LLM using Langchain. And the beauty of Langchain is that, you know, using the Langchain framework, you can work with multiple LLMs, right? So even if you work with OpenAI, you can also do some things with a local LLM that you have installed in your machine. And with that, we've come to end of this video. Hopefully you have found this uh, video useful. Uh, I'll be sharing all the links that I used uh, in the description below. So if you like this, please put a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and I'll be creating more videos like this in the coming weeks. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.